have an easy, fun, and delicious brunch to celebrate with our loved ones on this Valentine's Day 2022. Come on with me. What I like to do to make the process easier and less time consuming is do as much of the work prep the day before. So here I am setting up the table. I know what I'm going to be serving on this Sunday brunch and I'm working on how I want to set things up. By doing this, you'll save so much time, your table will look presentable for your loved ones and you will spend less time in the kitchen. For my dinnerware, I want to keep it simple as we have so much going on on the center of the table. So I'm using this lovely heart-shaped plate from Target from last year and I'm just going to add a classic white napkin to place my gold flatware. To all this and when he tells you that you're all he wants and it's midnight oh, I'm thinking about him. I when we use our family dining table for any type of meal, my girls demand to use the same dinnerware as the adults. They just want to feel special and it could be quite challenging, especially with my little one, but I let them have it at least once a week. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Cindy. I love home decor, home organization, love family gathering, and make it as special and memorable as possible. Love to share my recipes with all of you. I will be honored if you subscribe, like, and share this video. For those of you that are part of this community, thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. For our first dish, we're going to be making a hash brown egg casserole. This egg casserole is so quick and easy, you can prepare it the same morning. It's delicious, packed with potatoes, meat, cheeses, and eggs. Also so versatile, you can easily change out the protein, the cheeses, to suit your taste. It's not my birthday yet, cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me, wrapped up nice and neat, baby. So here we have nine eggs, one cup of half and half, one cup of cheddar, mozzarella, a cup of diced honey ham, our scallions, garlic powder, ground mustard, our hash browns, I'm using tater tots, salt and pepper. I greased the pan and arranged the tater tots in one single layer and now we're gonna crack some eggs as always the ingredients will be listed down below so we have nine eggs I'm adding half teaspoon of salt half teaspoon of ground mustard and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder and sprinkle some black pepper whisk a little bit before adding the milk to incorporate all of the seasoning now we're gonna add the milk. I'm using half and half, but feel free to use milk of choice. I just think that half and half gives your casserole a, a richer taste and texture. Now that we sprinkle all that goodness, we're going to add our batter. Let's try to pour it evenly. 
we are going to cover it and we're going to bake at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, we're going to uncover it and let it cook for about 20 to 25 more minutes until we poke it with a knife in the center and it comes out clean. Next up is delicious friend toast. This is a classic recipe and so easy to make. For this, you can use any type of bread, but for a more decadent and flavorful friend toast, the best bread is a brioche loaf or a challah bread, which is what I'm using today. I'm going to slice it into thick slices between half and one inch thick. This bread is so soft and fluffy, which soaks perfectly the sweet egg mixture. Our ingredients for this one are four eggs, quarter cup of sugar, I'm using sugar in the raw, nutmeg, which is my, uh, my secret ingredient, cinnamon, salt, a cup of half and half, butter, and pure vanilla extract. And now in a large bowl, we are going to add our milk. I'm gonna crack four eggs. And guys, let me know down in the comments if you like this dish, if you do it, and if you add an extra ingredient that I'm not using here, I would love to know. I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, this is optional, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a little bit more. You can go as much as you want with this quarter cup of sugar and two tablespoons of pure vanilla extract Sorrows let go like this no tomorrow let's have a drink whisk all that goodness and your batter is going to be ready i'm going to preheat my cast iron pan add a little bit of butter you can also use canola oil if you like but the butter gives that extra goodness Make sure that your slice of bread is coated evenly, edges as well, and add it into your pan. Cook this three minutes or so until, our, until it's golden brown on both sides. I'm doing this in batches because my pan is small. One tip is in between batches, wipe off your pan to clean that dark excess of butter so it won't darken your toast before it's cooked. The result for this dish is a soft, buttery, sweet inside and pleasantly crispy on the outside. While I'm working on the front toast, 25 minutes have passed and it's time to uncover our casserole. And now for a fun and easy way to serve some bacon on your next Valentine's Day brunch, how about some heart-shaped bacon? So I have two bacon strips. I'm just gonna cut the edges just to remove a little, a little bit of that fat and to make it the same length. And now we're gonna fold once. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. And then I'm just going to make it a heart shape. As simple as that, you guys. I'm going to transfer the bacon into this rack and, and cover the pan with aluminum foil so all that grease will fall there and will not soak our bacon. This is going to go in the oven on 400 degrees until nice and crunchy. Another easy way to add variety on your table. I love the idea of a yogurt parfait station. It's yummy, refreshing, and you can add a variety of toppings to make it interesting, colorful, and delicious. You can't go wrong with vanilla flavor, so today I'm using vanilla Greek yogurt.
on the other side I'm just going to add an assortment of pastries some donuts and some cupcakes for my girls and also some beautiful and delicious heart shape macaroons and trust me this goodies make the brunch extra sweet and makes it to last longer while we are talking and enjoying our meal with each other there's always time for some great desserts Let's decorate our front toast with some fruits. I cut in half some strawberries and I left the leaves for extra color. And it just looks so pretty, you guys. It's, the presentation is amazing. I'm gonna add some blueberries, raspberries. Let's tap it all with some powdered sugar and maple syrup. A holiday is the perfect excuse to make it special for your loved ones. Wishing you a happy Valentine's Day. Remember, this is only one day, but we still have 364 days to spread love. I have a passion to create, decorate, and entertain in style. And my phrase of all times is, it's all in the details. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. And if you recreate any of these recipes, please tag me on Instagram. God bless you, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Feliz Dia de San Valentín!